I'd like to talk to you about how you should be moving your feet or how the foot should uh, be, be positioned while you're doing movement from one stance to another during patterns. Um, in order to create a proper knee spring, you're going to have to maintain one important factor that a lot of people overlook. And that is the foot that's moving should maintain a flat position to the floor. Now quite a few people are going to be lifting the heel very high as they move forward. What that does, it, it brings you up really high and it tends to lock this knee out making it straight. Problem with that, it doesn't create, create a smooth sine wave motion. Smooth sine wave motion, you want to be able to spring into the next move. With a locked knee, it becomes a very jerky motion. And quite often the cause is the back foot or the moving foot is lifting the heel really high, which locks you out on this knee, making a very up and down sharp movement. And what you should be doing is keeping the ball of your foot and the heel equal distance from the floor. Now it's going to vary a little bit, there will be some tipping here and there, but basically it should be fairly close. So as the foot moves, it's like sliding it along the floor. Now it could be raised up from the floor of course, but that's the concept. That allows me to use this knee spring because it's bent, I can now create upwards and downwards movement in a smooth action. So I can come in, now I can spring up and down into the next move. Again, if I have my heel lifted, boom, I'm up high, and now I can't spring easily into the next motion. I literally fall forward, almost catapulting myself or pole vaulting myself forward because this knee was locked up. So you have to watch out for that. As you're moving, try and maintain a flat foot so that it is very close to level as it moves to the next stance. Line to recognize when I do the initial step, I'm going to draw this foot back to where my heel is, but on the center line. So this point here.